Hello and welcome back to Crafts of Note. My name is Crystal and today I was going to show you something kind of neat. I had taken the last week or so off at the end of March to April to do to get things done and then something I had been waiting for in Ikea was finally back in stock and I could get some so I decided to go because my working situation for leather working and for fabric cutting and pattern tracing wasn't really workable. I was doing it in the middle of my living room and it kind of created a mess and it was hard because I always had to put everything away and set everything back up again in order to do anything and there wasn't a lot of space as well. So I decided that because I was also doing the YouTube channel, I needed a place that I could do all of those things and also do the filming. So I converted a room in my basement that was basically empty. We used it for storage. There was nothing in it and completely redid it. So you can imagine anything in this room that you're seeing wasn't here before and a lot of it's Ikea. So it's basically an Ikea craft leather working room makeover and then everything else, maybe there's some incidentals. And for this particular room, there will be no sewing in it. It's only for tracing the patterns, fabric cutting, fabric storage, and then all of my leather working gear and the leather itself will also be down here and I can film down here because there's more space and I've got the lights and stuff set up. You'll see everything because I'm going to show you where the lights are and everything as well. So in this corner near the window, I have, um, this shelf was actually already in the room. So just using that to set things on. So I want to make it more decorative and I just got like a lamp and I have a Google Home and some other stuff. I, but this isn't from Ikea, this is just stuff I've put on it. But then below, you can see that there's some more stuff. I'll show you in a minute my April thread crate box here. But over in this corner, you can see that I've got a pegboard. So I just got one of their classic pegboards. They only had white the first time I went, so I had to get white. I kind of wanted the wood coloring, but that's okay. And I've got some boxes and storage cubes and bungee cords and paint clips and shelves and stuff to put more things on. I haven't decided what yet, but at least it's there and I can use it. The next part of the room is like one of the things that I think is the coolest that I did. And for the leather, you don't want to store it in certain ways. It's either rolled or flat as you can, or you can damage it or it gets like misshapen and stuff. And so I had a lot of like scrap or small pieces of leather that I had bought to work with and some good stuff too. And so you can see, I have actually hung it up. These are curtain hangers from Ikea actually. And then I have clipped them to it with these hooks. So these ones down here, I don't care as much about, so I clip directly to it. But then this teal one up here, you can see you can slide it and stuff. I have fabric guards holding it on the clips so that the clips don't damage the leather. And this one, goes all the way across this half of the room so I can hang any larger pieces or nice pieces up and I have some that I haven't done yet but it's kind of like art in its own sake all the pretty colors of the leather. All of them are from Rocky Mountain Leather Company ironically. And then as we scroll over then I've got another pegboard over here and this one is all for my rulers all different types of rulers and some other stuff too i have extra hooks and more space on it and the second time i went to ikea they had the wooden one because i discovered there are no cross compatible anything for ikea pegboards you have to get it from them or nothing and the first time i went they were out of all the accessories so i had to go back so i could use them and then i got the wood grain one and so there's that and then you can see over here actually is one of my filming lights to light up this room so you can see a little bit better and that just gets stored over here in this corner anyway so then now we're going to go down so now we're going down i got a calyx unit which is all the square cube organizers and i got two of those and they actually stretch through all along that whole wall here all the way to the other side So going back to this one, the way that I did this is I have the drawers in this one and then I have cabinet doors in the other one and then open spaces and then 
the Ikea Drono boxes to put things into. Here is the extra leather that I haven't hung up yet. I gotta do that. And then in the box, in my actual drawers, this is Ziploc bags and some of the curtain wire hanging stuff. And I don't know if this will be permanent. I have my leather uh, moleskin fillers here to make my leather journal tutorial. This is smaller pieces of scrap fabric. And this one is scrap leathers. So I don't know if that's the permanent use of those, but that's what I got those for. Down here is my photo cube to make uh, product pictures for my Etsy shop. Fits perfectly actually in there. And then over in the corner here, I made a little space at the end so I can store tripods and light tripods there. And then I have the same thing going on at the other end. So at this end, I have the Calyx units still. And then this one has my leather working stuff in it. And I have all my tools in here. I've taken some of the stuff I need out. So you got leather working in the cubes and it fits perfectly. And then the other blue boxes have fabric in my patterns. And then I have the two cabinet doors here for stuff. My stitching pony fits perfectly in one of the cubes too. So my stitching pony's in there. And then there's sandpaper and other leather working gear down in this one. Then I got a couple more cool random things from Ikea. So I got this orange random thing. This is a tablet stand and a headphone stand. So if you had the tablet, it would lay here and then the headphones would be in here. Because sometimes I use Kindle books for sewing or leatherworking stuff, or sometimes I just want it there. And then also, I often wear headphones when I'm cutting out patterns or something. I might not do that here, because I'm now I'm in the basement and I have my Google Home. And I feel like the infamous wood box is something that a lot of people have now gotten from Ikea. I put all my leather paints in the bottom, of which I have the metallic ones, the shiny ones, and the regular bright colored ones. And then this one's empty, haven't filled it yet. This one has all of my leather working threads. I love that they come on the wooden spools, it's really cool. So. This one has my leather thickness gauge in it. This is my sewing journal on top of it for my makes. This one has all my round hole punches. And this one has like the batteries for my camera and a couple scrunchies so I can get my hair out of the way. This light is another thing that I got that I thought was really cool. This is from, Ikea, uh, from Target, not Ikea. Ikea was out of all of these cool things. They have these Edison bulbs and they sell them at Ikea, but they didn't have any when we were there. And it's concrete on the bottom and then it has the Edison bulb on top and it comes with a USB plug or it does battery power. And I thought that was fun as a decorative element. I think it was about $15 at Target. Okay, now we're gonna move to the other side of the room. So this right here is my cutting table, leather working table, fabric and whatever, tracing table, work table. This is a table that actually folds down to a width of about a foot wide and then this, the arms come out and you can see you can get this times two and if I have it open, it takes up all my floor space practically, which is nice because then I can put it away. And when I was at Ikea, I got this cool light that clamps to the table or any surface that is wide enough for the clamp. And it's a gooseneck that you can bend, so if I need more light when I don't have my filming lights on, you can use that and it plugs into the wall, but then when you don't need it, you can actually lift it off the clamp and not have to remove the clamp. So that was a nice addition because this room is a little dark because it's the basement, but I do have a lamp. And then this table is really nice too because it's got some storage stuff in it. And I'll show you some of the cool features. I'm gonna turn it. It's on wheels. So you can turn it like that. And then if I scroll you down here, what I like about it, it has a little basket on each side. So I have all of my, my scissors and my rotary cutter and tracing stuff and Taylor's chalk in here. And then there's a shelf here on the bottom and that's where I put my pattern tracing paper and it fits perfectly to hold it there. And so I really like this table. It's really big. I'll put a link to it if I can find it. This is what I was using in my living room, so you can imagine how much space it took. And then 
I just have a normal Ikea lamp over here in the corner. And then this stool is really nice. So this stool is a sit-stand stool. You can raise and lower it by hitting the button so I can go down. Woo. And I got this from Ikea, it's really comfortable. And the nice part is, is that the top bends with you as you sit or stand. So if you're standing and you kind of have yourself like that against the seat, the seat will tip for you instead of staying straight. And it it's pretty heavy duty, it has a 10 year warranty. And I think a lot of times I'm more standing than I am sitting to work with the table. And there's no other seating down here. So it's nice to have something that I can just kind of lean against or sit, sit if I really want to. And the tight adjustable so I can change whether I'm gonna sit maybe over by the Calyx units or at the table. And the last Ikea-based thing to see is that I also left room on this corner for all of my healing, self-healing cutting mats. And then I bought this desk pad here at Ikea, which is made out of cork. And this is nice for the leather working because it gives a safe surface for your leather to hit on and it won't damage the table or anything. So this is pretty cheap. So I picked this up for my leather working. They all can fit over here. So on the wall where my cutting table is, I also installed one of those curtain wires right here. And that one is for filming, so if I want a backdrop or a green screen or something, I can put it up and slide it out of the way if I don't want it there and keep it there. So I have one more of those wires up there. And that is it for my Ikea tour of the room. So I hope you like getting a look at this kind of Ikea makeover of this room for crafting and leatherworking. And if you like my channel, please Remember to subscribe, comment, and like the video, and I will see you next time.